So I've just made a series of dark mode notebooks, which I absolutely love. So in terms of good notes, this is in good notes. And as you're aware, you have a reading and writing, writing icon that's up here. You can't see the menu right now, which means it's in reading mode, which is the space where you access all the hyperlinks. But if you click on that icon, you change over into writing mode. You see, now we're in reading mode. Now we're in writing mode, reading mode. So um, in writing mode, we can go in brown if we want. We're on really thick pen and we can say, this is my notebook. And then we can turn the page. Now, go back to reading mode and then you can access all the hyperlinks. So this is a hyperlinked notebook. Uh, you can write all over it, but then when you click on number one, whoops, sorry. When you click on number one, you'll know this is number one because it's colored. And also, um, yeah, uh, that's the index, but I'll get to that in a second. This is notebook number one. So what you can do is go back to writing mode and you can say today's list. And of course you can change your color, as you know. You know, you can preset. Now this is dark, so you're not gonna be able to really see that. See that? You can't really see that. Let me just get rid of all of that. Um, and then, that's dark as well, but let's grab a white. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? I love it. Dark mode is so much easier on my eyes, I love it. So again, we're in writing mode, you can see the menu. Now we're in reading mode. So when you click on the index, it will take you back here. So you might have your index, you might have, if this was, um, if this notebook was, oh, I'm sorry, I'm in reading mode. If this notebook was for home, or you can have a notebook for work, or you can have a notebook for anything you want. Um, and the beautiful thing about this is that if we hop out of this for a second and go back here, this notebook, you can, in good notes, you can select it. It's just a, if we select that, you have options up here. You can trash it, move it, duplicate it, or export it. So if we want to duplicate that notebook, and, and this is the thing, it's like your forever notebook. You've bought it once and you don't need to buy notebooks again. And in the 10 pack that I've got for you, there are 10 different notebook styles, um, which we can go through uh, later. So let me just click done. Now I've got two that says copy. One of the first things you always do is you rename things. So let's get rid of that. And let's say this is gonna be home. You know, you do a quick double tap for capitals. And then when you click off it, it'll rename it. And then this one, if we click on the name, we'll click up here on the file. We're gonna click on that cross to get rid of it's in, it's in writing mode, which is why you need to use your finger. Um, and then we'll just, we'll call this one double tap work. We'll call it work and then click off it. And you'll see that home and work, you can see they're re, re numbered, but just, let's just say we're gonna do home. Let's get rid of all that. And we're gonna rename it now to home. And then we get here, let's just tidy this up because we already know what's going on now. This is where you can, you can decide shopping, you can decide menus, you can go events that are coming up. You can have, you can have a gift list, you know, I mean, it's it goes on your cleaning schedule. And then when you go to each one, when you go back into reading mode, which we can call the hyperlink mode, you can click on number 11 and you can get to page 11. Now we've called this cleaning. Do we call this cleaning? Yeah, cleaning. So let's go back here and go back into writing mode and we know that this is cleaning. Now, 
this notebook has 25 pages, okay? And each page is hyperlinked. But the beautiful thing about this is you then can add however many you want. Now, the pages you add under page 11 will not be hyperlinked, but you can swipe for that purpose, right? So we get back to cleaning and we go, okay, we need to add a page. Now, there is a few different ways that you can do it, but you can copy this page, right? We, we won't do it that way. We're gonna go to the big picture view and here it is. Now you'll know which page you're on because it's blue. Do you see that? So that's the index that we were writing on. That was some notes we made in, in the other book when we copied it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tap on this tiny little arrow there and you can add a page before, add a page after, duplicate it, move it, uh, create an outline if you want to do it that way, export it, open it in a new window or move it to trash. So we're gonna add a page after and you can choose to add a white page or you can use the current template. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna use the current template now, what, now I'm going to go back into cleaning and then I'm going to go next. And you can see this is still numbered number 11. You see that? Number 11. Now, see, this has got cleaning written on it. This hasn't. This is number 11. I'm going to go back. We're going to go into reading mode. I'm going to go back to the index and I'm going to go back to cleaning and I will show you which page this link takes you to. It takes you to the cleaning page. It doesn't take you here. Now, if we want to go to page 12, you see that page becomes a sheet that sits behind section 11. So I would treat these as your sections. Okay, just let's move it down a bit. And then save pages under that. So if we want to go to menus, let's go right, writing. We're going to put menus, these are menus. And then if we want to add five pages behind that, you can see we're in menus. We're going to go add page after. We're going to select the same template. And then I'm going to do it again. Oh, sorry, when you tap on it, it, it actually puts you into the document. You have to tap on the arrow, add, no, 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 cancel that, get out of that. Add page after, same template, add page after same template okay that will do you can tell they're the same page because of the number it's highlighted this is section three you can see number three number three number three number four and the hyperlink will take you to four so there it is you can this uh, section three for menus you can have let's just for the sake of it let's go week one this one was week two and this one was week three and then that way and then that we wrote oh there's another one week four so when we go to the big picture view you can see here in this tiny tiny little white week one week two week three week four and then that one takes us to section four so that's the beauty of dark mode and how oh look how beautiful it is and look you can get your stickers I love stickers and you can, of course, I'm a girl, so my stickers are all woohoo. You get your stickers and, oh, look at that daisy. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know why I turn it on its side because it's <laughs> it looks the same no matter where you put it, but week four is pretty amazing. And I'm just a love heart kind of gal, so I just... I like love hearts everywhere. <laughs> Just line it up with that line. And then we can get the menu for week four. So that, this is a 10 pack of note pack, notebooks and it's there's 10 different styles of note papers. And um, these ones are dark mode and there's light mode as well and i've also got a there's a 10 pack of light mode and 
And then I've put the two together and done a bundle and you get, I think 30% off. And it's these two together. And that's a pretty cool deal. These are amazing. The only notebooks you'll ever need. Um, and again, 25 sections. Uh, you can add as many pages as you want. I could have added them for you, but then you've got to delete them. It's a bigger document and all the things. So that's why I wanted to make a little video to show you how you can facilitate that for yourself. Awesome. I hope you enjoy the notebooks. Please feel free to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Thank you. Bye.